What's going on guys, Gabe here with Review Dork, and in my left hand I have the all new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Cost me about $1200. In my right hand, I have an exact clone from Samsung, and it might be Samsung's most important phone. This is the Samsung A71, and we're going to go through all the specs and why I think this phone is an absolute bargain, especially for $400. So Samsung's marketing material says, meet the phone with a lot less bezel and a whole lot of screen. And guess what? You'll get a whole lot of green because you are going to save upwards of $800. When you compare both of these phones that look like genetic clones, in fact, they are genetic clones. If you guys look at the camera array here, as you can see, it's very, very identical. The only difference as I feel it in my hand is one weighs more. So if we hold these phones side by side, Side. They're both 6.7 inches. This phone is slightly bigger, just slightly bigger. Again, weighs less. Now, this is a 1080 screen. And guess what? This is a 1080 screen too. We want to take advantage of the 120 hertz display. And I'm assuming the only reason why you would have your S20 Plus in 1080 is to take advantage of the 120 hertz. But more importantly, um, do we even see the difference between 1080 and Quad HD or even 4K on a 6.7 inch device? So when we take that into account and we look at this display, I have to say it's an absolute beautiful display and I'm gonna keep saying this through the video but for only $400. So if you guys can see the design, hopefully you can see the design and there is a prism look on the back of this. Yes, it's, it's plastic so it doesn't have that heavy premium feel. The glass backing on the S20 Plus just feels slick and I know a lot of other YouTubers were talking about it that it feels like it can slip out of your hand. This, I don't know, it, I guess that plastic has like, I don't know, like a 3M effect that you guys ever play with 3M paper, just like sticks to. Samsung made a big hurrah with the Galaxy S20 series with their cameras, with their telephoto lens. This does something a little different. We have a 64 megapixel main shooter. We have a five megapixel depth camera. We have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And again, guys, these sound like low pixels, but it just means it's a really good low light performer. Now, the kicker here, it's the five megapixel macro camera. So if you're into shooting food, if you're into texture, if you step outside and you step on a bug and you really want to capture their guts, you can do so three to five centimeters away. That's insane. Three to five centimeters. You're literally zoomed in, guys. You're, that That's insane. Whereas the S20 Plus focuses on 100 times zoom that's useless they give you a macro lens on this phone, which is actually useful. I mean, it just blows my mind. It's a $400 phone and it's absolutely useful. In weight, there's more. If you're not into photos and you're into videos, well, this has a 4K shooter as well at 4K 30 frames per second. It has a wide angle view and looking at the specs here because Apple Jacks uh, is not holding up my cue card right now. He's busy on Instagram or on Snapchat or whatever the hell he's doing. But looking here, we have 123 degree ultra wide and we have an 81 degree wide angle. So you're gonna get the whole entire shot. Listen, guys, if you're into TikTok, if that's your thing right now, this is the phone to get. It's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg and you're not gonna cry as much if you drop it, you lose it. You're just not gonna cry as much and the repair costs on this have to be a hell of a lot cheaper compared to the Galaxy S20 Plus because it's a glass back and it's a glass front guys and oh just keep in mind this is Gorilla Glass 3. It's Gorilla Glass 3 Jacob? Yep, Gorilla Glass 3. And you're not forfeiting any of the tech that you would find in the Galaxy S20 Plus. It has a fingerprint sensor 
It's an optical sensor. You're gonna get a cool graphic when you unlock the phone. And it has face unlock. So if you're not into pins and you're into biometric features, you're not losing out on much. Sure, the S20 Plus has that uber cool ultrasonic fingerprint reader, but come on, optical, ultrasonic, $400, you're still getting a bargain with this phone. I'm just blown away. We were playing with it, uh, washing a car, doing videos, photos, and oh man, we had a lot of fun. And if you're the type who feels like, hey, why do I need the latest specs? I'm just using my phone to jump on YouTube, answer text messages, and maybe I don't know, TikTok a little bit, you know, whatever your favorite apps are, you sure as hell don't need a Snapdragon 865 processor. You just don't. So this phone comes with a Snapdragon 730G processor with 120 gigs of storage, expandable in eight gigs of RAM. Now, unless you got 10,000 apps open and maybe 500 Chrome tabs open, those eight gigs of RAM would be more than enough. Okay, so, for $400, there's some give and take, but there's also a bonus, guys. You get a headphone jack. You get a headphone jack. A headphone jack. Wow. That's almost an added bonus, but you do forfeit a stereo speaker. So the sound is only going to come out the bottom of the phone. So if sound is a big deal to you, get a Bluetooth headset. Plug in your 3.5 millimeter head jack and listen to what you gotta listen to. What you give up in a dual firing stereo speaker setup, you gain in battery a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And guys, you get a 25 watt fast charger with this. So this is an all day phone already because the screen is 1080 and only a 60 hertz refresh rate. So yeah, you're gonna get an all day battery out of this thing, plus fast charging, so you gotta juice up. You juice up, you need to juice up. Who doesn't wanna juice up? Everybody wants to juice up. In fact, you're probably juicing up right now while you're watching this video. To me, that's awesome, that's dope. And guess what? You're gonna get to do the same things I do with my Android phone. And you're going to get support from Samsung for two years. That's it. Samsung supports their phones for two years. Guys, you're paying premium dollars for phones that are supported for two years. Save yourself some money. The A71 is the budget Samsung phone of 2020. This is Gabe with The View Dork. I am signing out. Peace.